So, I've been basically secret hunting into this game. And I've already found some, but I have noticed, because I've restored the game a couple of times now, since um, beating it and comparing some of my past recordings, that when I first played this game, there was only one poster. Now there's two and one is ripped. And I've also starred another playthrough, um, just testing if there was some name Easter eggs. And I've seen where this one's ripped and this one's intact. So that's a little interesting. And also, I've apparently started with a phone. Which is interesting. Nope, no one's picking up. Maybe I'm out of the cell tower range. How do people live here? It's probably a waste of battery to call here. Let's forget about the phone. So I guess that was a time paradox ending. So that one I literally just sat there at the opening area for just forever. It just happened. Sheesh. What the? Okay. Now I get it. What are you? Damn it. I guess it's a number time paradox ending. I can't tell if it's her talking the entire time, or if it's her and her other her talking to each other. Because obviously they would have the same portrait, right? Hmm, it's not opening. If I use more strength. I'm a little concerned, but I don't think it's a big deal. There's definitely another secret to this. I'm trying to think what. Old axe. Good. It's been bothering me. What do we have here? What the? Skulls again! Damn it. Why the hell does it have a tape? Creepy. Creepy, creepy. Creepy. If you had you look closely, it's obviously her outfit. And then we got one camcorder tape, because every single one of them carries at least one tape. So this time around, I decided to come here before I encountered the first murderer. And this time it just did not open, period. But the board was here early. And now I realize that this note was left by the girl, basically, who went into this closet here. Whoa. It's too dark here. I don't know if I can find anything. It stinks so bad, too. Let's come back here later. Uh! Alright. 
right, there's a secret death there. There's a lot of little secret deaths. They're not really endings, but they're just tucked away here and there. And that's before you encounter the killer officially for the first time. Also, if you notice, in the one ending where the killer did come out of the closet and, like, stab you, the, the sprite silhouette of the killer that's above you is, uh... It doesn't have the mask over it, implying that the person in the closet's just one of the standard girls. And the sprite for that's actually called Secret. <laughs> Which, Secret. So, that's supposed to be kind of a very early reveal of the big twist. Now I'm gonna do some testing with the dialogue here. I'm not gonna say, try, let me try this. I hit X this time. I think that's just ignoring them if you hit X. Don't be too scared. I searched this house while I was here. I'm starting to see things more clearly. Skip ahead. Here, I wonder if you can share extra chocolate bars. Try hit X again. Why are you so quiet? It's okay. I'm sorry. I'll be okay without a chocolate bar. Please say something. Now this is after I did the ignoring thing. I want to see if it changes this dialogue because I did not give chocolate and I ignored them. What? Hello? Dan I? They really want you to give that chocolate. Now there's three of them here. I start up another game. Weird. So I'm not sure if it's RNG or if it's just based on... You know, I have no idea. Here's another little interesting dialogue as I'm going back over the lore a little bit. Past, present, future, everything becomes one with the Almighty. We shall not see him for he has no form. When the end arrives, he and we shall become one. So that basically also gives it with twist. When it says become one, that's what happens with our main character. Here's another one. The Almighty who is omnipresent, omnipotent, sees and knows all. You are the universe and the universe is you. Also, kind of revealing the nature of things. Hey. Tile screen's slightly different. I'm hungry. I need to eat something. My eyes are itchy. So I guess there's another variation in that one. One's like a before and one's like an after. I must have dropped my phone while running away. This is terrific. 
Let's leave this place for now. Let's run away and then take time to regroup. Okay. So here's something different. So the one ending, I was couturing off one of the, uh, the ending where our main character got stuck in the place, had the eye missing. I tried, I had a theory, I'm like, what if the phone only works after certain endings? So this time I went in after the true ending, and it looks like the phone works this time. Whoa, weird. Hello. Oh. Hey, it's me. Why are you calling at this hour? We got late filming that weird stuff again. What do you mean weird stuff? I mean, you're technically... I'm at that house I was talking about before. Uh, well, I'm sure you'll be alright. Still be careful. Huh. You don't need to worry about me. Let's get something to eat later. Pick up again. In and out cell tower range. How do people live here? That's weird. I can't call my friend. I'm out of range. Maybe it's completely random. Because I reloaded and got a different dialogue. Uh, this is new. New game? Hey, crash the game! You can't do that! March 15th. I'm trying to think there's a secret here. Because I know some of these have like weird secrets if you go and do them over and over again. So, that's it for the secrets I've found so far. I'm 100% sure there are more. Like, I'm 100% I'm sure there are more secrets in it. There, there's no new endings, I know that for sure. Because the endings are the ones where you see the credits. So we, we got the endings. But there is other bad ends slash deaths, I suspect. And I believe there is also some more... Little creepy things that could pop up maybe in a second playthrough, or depending on what you investigate. Because there is a random factor to some of these, like the title screen ones, and uh, I believe the phone one may be randomized. I think, I know there's more phone dialogues, and I believe there might be cameos from characters from the previous game? It may not be connected to this one, but there is another game at this career main called Stygian, that stars, it doesn't star, but it has the, the sister of this character. And I believe the one that, in the one phone call we got with Everett, I believe they might have been one of the characters. I don't know, because that game has not been translated. So I'm sure there's more secrets. If there's just like maybe one really minor one or something, I know I don't think I'll come back to the game. People can just point out like, oh, I found this, and be like, oh, okay, that's cool. If there's a decent amount left, you know, then, then I would come back and probably just delist this video and just label it outdated and just kind of release a new one with some extra content tacked on towards the end. But I can see why some of these secrets are pretty well hidden. Or very specific niche ways to find them because they are huge spoilers. And they give out some of the early parts of the storyline very early on. Anyway, for now, once again, thank you all for watching play Can in the Box. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.